Hey, hey YouTube, what is up? I figured I'd make a video talking about how I did at regionals, considering the fact that I made a video talking about what to do to prepare for regionals. And I just want to preface this video by saying, when you do go to regionals, please pay attention to your stuff. My friend, when opening his packs on entry, turned around, leaving his Mermel deck right next to him. Someone stole it before the tournament even started, which is really, really unfortunate. So guys, you got to keep an eye on your stuff. I wasn't joking. People really do steal stuff. There are people that are nice there, yes, but there are always going to be some shady people that are going to try and steal your stuff, so please be careful. Anyway, first round, I did not go first. I lost the dice roll, so my opponent chose to go first, and wouldn't you know it, they're playing Magical Explosion FTK Monarchs. So I lost the first game. Game two, I sided in Royal Decree and Twin Twister, went first and drew into both of them. They started going off. I had both set. They prohibition Twin Twister, which was crazy. I did not expect that in a Magical Explosion FTK deck, but... They did it, and then I flipped my Royal Decree, and he said, okay, game three. He went first again because he lost, so he got to choose, and that was it for me. So I lost the first round, so I started off with a round one loss. Round two, I played a Dark World Burning Abyss deck, which was a really weird mix, you know, mix, I guess, of decks, but I ended up winning that one, so I was one and one. That, that, that duel really wasn't anything besides just a Majesty's Lock. Round three, I ended up going up against a Draco Pals deck that just OTK'd me, and I had Brick Hands, so I really couldn't do anything about it, unfortunately. So I just, you know, I scooped pretty much game three because I knew he had me beat. Round four, I ended up playing the Monarch Mirror Match, but he wasn't playing Quantum Monarchs like I was, so it was only like a sort of Mirror Match. I basically Majesties and Vanities locked him twice, and then that was game for him, so I, I beat him. That was it. I got round four. Round five, I played against a Burning Abyss Phantom Knights deck, and I got the most disgusting draws and locks on this person I have ever seen. I basically whipped out so much stuff against him, I couldn't believe it. I locked him out with a Majesty's Fiend, a Vanity's Fiend, March of the Monarchs, and the Field Spell, all on my second turn, both games I played against him. He had Mask Restrict, he flipped it, I was like, it doesn't matter, my board's already set, so I basically just poked and poked and poked for game, I just got the ridiculous locks that game. So, for the following match, I played a different Draco Pals player, but this time I was able to Majesties and Vanities lock him. Basically, game one, that's what I had. Second game, I just put in Vanities Fiend and just stopped him from special summoning via Vanities Fiend, March of the Monarchs, and the Field Spell. He got really agitated because I kept Stormforthing anything he brought out or Effect Valoring it, so he was a little salty about it, but you know, it is what it is. For the seventh round, I actually played an Odd Eyes Magicians deck, which I really didn't expect to get that far in the tournament, but he was playing me round seven. I got some really, really disgusting plays on him. I just kept plucking cards out of his hand with Erebus and Thessalos, and I just continued to do it, continued to do it, and he basically had nothing left, so I won that round as well. I got five and two into the tournament after losing the first and third rounds, but because I had won pretty much the last four rounds straight, I was moved up to table 22, and I played a person that topped a YCS, and I got absolutely shredded by their Draco Pals. No ifs, ands, or buts. I played my best. They just absolutely shredded me, and that was the story for that round. So after round eight, I was basically five and three. I was at table 22 when I played the YCS player, which means I, if I won, I would have pretty much been guaranteed a invite to nationals because there was... 48 invitational, I guess, spots, and I was basically at table 22, which means I was in the top 44 players at the time, but I lost, so I had to play a Mermail player round 9, and I got the worst draws I've ever seen in my life. I drew a red layer, actually, I drew two red layers, a Monarch Stormforth, I was going first, I drew a Tenacities, and I drew an Upstart. I upstarted, and I hoped for Pantheism, I got a Prime Monarch, and that was it for game one. Game two, I drew into some dirty garbage as well. I got the Pantheism, and I had a Prime Monarch. I did it. I ditched, you know, Prime Monarch, used Pantheism. I drew two, and I sided in two lose one turns that turn. And guess what I drew into? Two goddamn lose one turns. I don't even know how that was possible because I fucking I power shuffled, and I just drew into two lose one turns which is absolutely crazy, but that's how I lost round nine, and that was it for me. So I got 94th place overall, which isn't that bad. I hope to do better next time, but yeah. 
I just wanted to let you guys know how I did at regionals. And, you know, if you went to the regionals and I played you or you saw me, you know, let me know. Or I want to know how you did as well, too. So let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, you can follow me on Twitter at Schwabs or like my Facebook page. Link to those are both in the description. Or you could click subscribe because it's free, it's fun, and I'll see you guys in the next one.